Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is episode three of how to leverage your VST library using bespoke synth or how to make dark fifth style bespoke synth patches. In this episode, we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools, the note hocket. The note hocket takes notes from a source and distributes them evenly across a series of locations. The more weighted you have a certain output on the note hocket, the more times a, a signal is going to make it through. A choice of one is going to go through every time. A choice of very low or zero is going to go through very little or none. We're going to hold down N to get a hold of our note hocket. Where are you, buddy? Now, using the note hocket, we can send notes out to do all kinds of cool tasks. So I'm going to put in a note counter. Note counter is just going to generate notes for us. In this case, the only thing that's important is that it's sending notes through to this guy. So we have a source of notes. It's sending notes. So that to randomly go through any notes that are in its sequence. And we'll set this to 32. If you want to know what notes are coming out, you can put a note displayer in. Send to that. Send to this. You can see it's just hitting random notes between 1 and 32. If we push this start up, we can pitch it up all the way up to 32 as the beginning pitch. Make it like 10. Get some low notes, get some mid notes in there, but it doesn't really matter too much. We will use our APC again here. And I'm just going to create five of these fellows. And then we'll make them distinct from one another. Okay. So the most basic form of this, we could send notes out of the note hocket to each of these. Let's say we want them all roughly evenly distributed. And we want it to be pretty sparse. Okay. The notes that are coming in currently, looks like these ample percussion cloud drums can't play. So we're going to throw in a scaler. A scaler. Let us scale these notes to perfectly fit this guy. And uh, let's see here. Let's go plus three, plus four. My note counter is set way too low. I turned him up. Okay. So now our note hocket is going to send out. We're going to use scale degree in order to make sure that each one of these instruments is getting its own portion of the scale. Boop, 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 boom. You can see this is where you start to get the really cool looking setups after a while. So these scale degrees are forcing our scale into place. Very useful to make sure whatever scale you set up here is actually being used across your whole track. Okay, now let's add another layer of complexity to this. I gave myself a little more room over here. And uh, for the sake of our ears, depending on how all this goes. It's going to go ahead and throw in an ozone. Yes, I know ozone is not a free plugin, but it's very nice <laughs> and I use it a lot. You could use any kind of uh, mastering plugin you want down here before the gain, but I'm using an ozone. I'm just going to go in to the maximizer and uh, bring that guy down a little bit just to make sure that we don't clip too loud with the uh, instruments. You don't have to do this, but you can, and there's lots of ways to put limiters and things in, depending on what you've got in your library. Okay, so we've got all these notes going out, but what if we want these to behave a little differently? Well, we have some other note tools that we can use. We're going to use the quarter. Let's see, hold down C, get the quarter, boom, and the arpeggiator. You know, put that up here, or uh, I'm going to create a new uh, note hocket. We're going to connect to it. We're going to say 100% of the time, go through to this next, next note hocket. But some of the time, go through to the quarter. We'll make it a diatonic quarter so it follows the scale. Put a couple of strange notes in here. We know it's going to be in scale, so we set it to diatonic. And then we're going to put another note hocket in and we'll set these to pretty high coming out of the quarter. Now, 
every once in a while, the note will make its way through, go to this, and then also go to this quarter and get distributed as a chord across everybody simultaneously, giving us a nice musicality. And we can put in a chord holder here. If we hold down shift, we can branch off of this guy and go up to the chord holder and send it into the arpeggiator. It's starting to get complicated down here. You should move this quarter back. We have the chord holder here. So in one case, note pocket, the chord goes out. The other case, we have the chord holder, holds the chord, sends it out to the arpeggiator. The arpeggiator is going to play an arpeggio of the notes in the chord. And we'll have that go to another note pocket and send that in here. And we'll say that some low percentage of the time, it'll go to each one of these. One at the top, one at the next one, one at the next one, one at the next one, one at the next one. You see what we're doing here? Creating instances of percentage chances that a note will make it through to another level of complexity and then spit out the other, oops, and then spit out the other end. Okay, let's see what we got here by letting our note counter send a bunch of notes through. Stop sending notes through the system. Oh man, something that we put into the system is just constantly sending notes through. And it's not stopping. How do we stop that? We can throw in note duration. Send it in that. Then come out. Confused as to why this has a permanent note coming off of it. We'll do the same thing down here. Note duration out of this into the arpeggiator. We'll set this notes duration and measures to one. Let's take a listen again. See everything going through. Let's try and turn our system off. Should everything, everything should stop. Mm, this guy's still doing his thing. Just delete this note pocket. Redistribute. Okay. Let's see if we're okay now. Stop. All right, now everything stops. You can throw those little note duration boys in there every now and again in order to make sure that things like this chord holder don't just constantly send a thing through for all eternity. Okay, I think that's it for this particular tutorial. Are you still watching? If you're still watching, consider subscribing. I'm going to put out another one of these videos as often as possible, as well as a bunch of other videos about other cool stuff that I like from the audio production world. I want to do some shout outs quick. Shout out to Larry Soto, Paul DeBlue, Swathi Kumar, Louis Eifert, and of course, Ryan himself. These videos are for you. Well, not, not so much for you, Ryan, because you designed all this. <laughs> if you guys want to be immersed in Bespoke Synth, there is an amazing Discord that you should go to. I'll put a link down below. Uh, you can talk to Ryan and all the other people who are hardcore nerding out over this uh, awesome free software. Until next time, happy Bespoke Synthing. <laughs> happy musicking. Happy noise making, whatever you do.